because of this and that, I am finally back-ish. I really hope that I, that I am. Yes, I did get the big bad C word. Um, was it terrible? Yeah, it wasn't great. Um, you were just exhausted and this headache like back here and like it almost felt like a pinched nerve and it just would not let go for eight days. Um, the tiredness was, it's, I, I'm still feeling the effect or effects. In fact, on Monday, um, my lungs were um, hurting and because I am on hormones, they'd warned me that I could get a blood clot in, in my lungs and I hadn't, my lungs hadn't ever hurt ever like that. And you know, and I've been over it for <sighs> what, since the first is what we'll say it is I'll be, I've been over it since the first, but the residual effects, uh, yeah. Anyways, so I had to go in for a CAT scan on Monday. Um, I'm starting, knock on wood, seriously, I am starting to have a few more better days versus bad days. And, and honestly, sometimes I don't even know. I might go one day and have a really good day and then the next day I'm, <laughs> yeah, miserable. And then I can go two days and then I'm miserable on the next day. So that's that's kind of what it's it's been like. Um, yeah, so between work and staff getting COVID and me filling in and then me getting it, um, it has been a wild ride, let me tell you. It's, like I said, it's it's bad. Um, honestly, I've had whooping cough um, and uh, I actually got West Nile virus too, one year. Um, those were actually worse but trying to compare the two or t against the COVID, that's, that's not great odds. So it, it's bad, I, I will say that. Um, but pulled through, luckily. Um, one thing that came to me today was that viruses also lay at the bottom of your stomach and they can be there for many months. And as most people know that the residual effects of COVID have been lasting three months. Um, so I might have to do a cleanse if I have enough energy to go to the grocery store. Just a couple things. Um, I have been watching videos and that here and there as, as I can, especially like being sick and that. Most of the time I was just sleeping like mainly 18 hours a day. Uh, Christmas was interesting. We were throwing presents down at my son because he lives in the apartment um, down. We were, yeah, we were throwing gifts at him so he could open them. And then we literally slept most of the day. I, I've noticed a lot of people are doing Wellness Wednesday, which I think is awesome. Not exactly sure who came up with that, but Tiffany wears t-shirts and a whole bunch of people are doing it. Um, I, so I think that's awesome. We might have to, I think I'm gonna do it, but we might have to do some some challenges. Like I have my iWatch, um, but they're really expensive, but maybe doing some other challenges, maybe if everybody gets like a Fitbit or something and we could say, okay, this day, let's see who beats people out with steps or let's see who pe beats people out with. Anyways, I have some ideas, so. But it's probably gonna be a few weeks before I can actually really get into the, the mood of, of things. So. Um, what I'm going to try to do, and I can't say that I will do it all the time, but I will try my best, that is my goal, try my best um, to get videos out. So this is kind of what I want to do um, for this year. Yeah, and of course still like unboxings, um, things like that, beauty tips, cooking, whatever get time, energy to even do that. Um, <laughs> cooking tips, crafts, um, you know, I, I was really lucky and I probably should get you some pictures. I, so I was making my boys minky blankets, um, and my mother-in-law and my mom for Christmas. I also did like uh, feather pillows with minky on for their covers. Um, but because I got sick 
um, on the 20, well, technically the 20, so my son, husband and my son got diagnosed on the 21st of December. I started getting sick that night. Um, I went in for my test the next day. So I wasn't able to get all of my blankets and that done. And honestly, the material is horrendous to work with. Let me, it, it stretches and then it's not straight. And it, anyways, so my friend had already been kind of helping me, but we still had like, um, two blankets left to do. And when she found out that I had COVID, she was like, leave me your material on the front porch and I will go and do them for you. So she did, she brought them over, left them on my porch on Christmas Eve. That was so, so sweet of her. But anyways, yeah, so I wanna kinda of tell you what I'm kinda of planning throughout um, the year this year, what I'm planning to do. So Monday, I'm gonna to try to do um, Mass Monday. It doesn't always happen. Mondays are usually my really crazy, busy day. Um, but a bunch of things have also been changing at work because of, of COVID. Um, so I might not be as busy as I had been. Um, then on Tuesdays, we're going to do Tasty Tuesday. So I am going to try something that I have never tried before. And I'm going to let you know how it tastes or it might be a new recipe. Um, or something that I've come up with for a recipe. So that's gonna be Tasty Tuesday. Um, then Wednesday is gonna be Wellness Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is gonna be Thyroid Thursday. And I know you're like, Thyroid Thursday, what the heck? So right before I got COVID, I went in on the 17th to just have my physical then. And for a while, probably actually last two years, I've been thinking that I have had thyroid problems after my hysterectomy, but no test has been able to confirm that. And um, sometimes you just have to listen to your body of what it's telling you, like, why is it doing this, you know, and, and researching it. So, um, so I've been thinking this probably since 2018. And um, guess what? Yep, my T4 came back really low. I asked him to test all of my T's, which there are five of them, um, but he only tested for the T4, um, and which means probably my T3 is off, which means I'm probably gonna have to go back and also have my T5 tested as well. That's why when I was like doing keto and working out, I really wasn't losing much weight, um, feeling tired, just, I knew something was just, just not right. Today, he did give me a prescription for Synthroid. Um, I am really not big on pills. Like Metformin, go get the, the, the health pill of Berberine. Like I would rather, I've had better luck with, and, and everybody is different, so please don't take that wrong. But I personally have had better luck with homeopathic medicine. So I do have a prescription for the Synthroid, um, but there are a lot of effects. And if you don't get the exact amount, it can make your health go crazy. And so I'm actually going to go to my hormone specialist and, um, it's basically your, your body is not producing iodine. Um, and which I already knew years ago that my body wasn't producing iodine. Um, iodine because I had PCOS. Of course, I didn't find this out, you know, till later and until my hysterectomy, I didn't even know I had PCOS. Um, but uh, yeah, so your, bo your body is lacking iodine for your thyroid. That was another reason why I was thinking I was having thyroid issues. I was like, it's just something's just not right with me. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go on that journey. I am taking propylene iodine and I will post it somewhere here. I did take a picture of it. Um, so I am taking that. Um, another thing is, or promaline prom iodine. Anyways, um, also my doctor before I got COVID had told me that it is also a 95% effective against COVID um, with zinc and vitamin D with high doses of that. And um, so I had ordered it on the 17th and it got here that Saturday and I started taking it and then that Monday or Tuesday I, I got it. So it, it hadn't been 
probably long enough and I, I really would have it would have really been cool to see if that had actually really worked but I'm still taking it because you can still get it again but I also need it for my thyroid and any doctor that says after you have a hysterectomy that you don't have the symptoms of PCOS they're liars you do so um <laughs> anyway so we're gonna do thyroid Thursday and just kind of go on my little journey um on uh Friday it's gonna be favorites Friday um, so it could be my favorite makeup, um, it could be my favorite skincare, I, yeah, uh, it, it's not just going to be beauty, it's going to be favorites of, of anything, it could be a movie, it could be, it could be anything. Um, so favorites Friday, and then, um, on Sunday, I'm going to give my day off, give me a day off on Saturday. Um, on Sunday, I'm going to get either do... Um, self-care Sunday or I'm gonna do Scentsy Sunday so I actually decided to be a distributor just because I buy so much of it <laughs> might save me a little bit of money um, so it'll be if we do self-care it'll be like meditation for the self-care um, things that we can do it might even just be going on on a hike which par probably fit with like wellness Wednesday or doing some yoga just doing things to take care of you and then like I said then it, it'll switch off of if something new came out with Scentsy or if it's my whiff box or um, if I have an order that I, I got um, so that's that's what I'm kind of planning to do um, I just want to say thank you to all of you guys that reached out. Um, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys are so amazing and just checking on me. And yeah, I really appreciate it. I even got some Christmas cards in the mail. And I, you know, I was planning actually to send out my Christmas cards. I knew they were going to be late. Um, but I was planning on sending him out and in fact, actually I was planning to do it on that Tuesday cause I was like, oh, this is the only time I have, right? Um, and cause I was planning to take off that day and then I get COVID, but, um, yeah, you guys, you guys are so amazing. I seriously, I have missed you all. I really have. I've really missed you all. And, uh, yeah, I, I love it. So many of you guys have just reached out and just checked on me. And yeah, you guys are all my faves. I love you guys so much. So my year on YouTube is coming up on the 25th. And I know I'm going to be doing um, a drawing and a, and a gift giveaway uh, for that. I haven't, I know I haven't done any for quite a while um so maybe we'll see if I can make up with some but yeah on the 25th I that will be my my year like I I really have appreciated all of you guys you know and 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 being with me on this uh, crazy journey this is definitely something I don't think I would have ever <laughs> for some reason it cut off anyway so this is something that I I never thought that I would do and how much I've loved it and how much I've missed it just being away for almost two months um so anyways love to you all please take care please be safe this is a really crazy crazy world right now and um i think a lot of people's anxiety is up because nobody knows what in the world is all going on you guys just want to say love you Mwah. bye